and the moment I drove in, it was like, wow. It's a unique place to me. It's a place where magic can happen. Going back to nature, that's what brings me and my family here. Well, there's so much to see here that I think that most people will be delighted by seeing such diversity. Not a lot of luxury in the sense of, of uh, modern things, but a lot of luxury in the sense of nature. For me, that's really calming my, my soul, I think. And the moment I drove in, it was like, wow, and I was sold. So this, this year, I don't know how to describe it, but it was just uh, drawn to it. And the pure nature here. We have a lot of uh, different uh, environment here. So we have the woods, we have mountain, we have the sea. And there is a large scale of plants and animals here. So you come in touch with nature, that's, that's important. It's very calming, very relaxing. Yeah, you can really feel calm and relaxing. Just, it feels great to be here. Making our own bread and making our own marmalades. And of course, then there's the calming part. Being in nature really calms you down when you stop being scared of it. And if people can experience that calming effect, then they suddenly feel like, whoa, my life is all about stress and work and money. And that doesn't really have to be. I love nature myself. I've been in it my entire life, trying to understand it, survive in it, work with it. And the moment I saw it, I knew this is it. I have to be here. The road ends here and we're at the foot of Hardanger Vida, which is a mountain high plateau. Uh, another thing which is very unique is the fact that we have two valleys coming together uh, around a mountain, a high mountain, about a thousand meters. And only a few hundred meters away we have the sea, there's a fjord. It's a tip, the utter end of the Hardanger Fjord. So we're quite remote, let's say, end of the world. This is what you get here. We have many different biotopes. You see we have this almost rainforest quality. We have unique geology. We have tunnels. We have rocks. It's all there. It's incredible. You will nowhere on earth find all these qualities together rivers, white water rivers, climbing rock, tunnels, woods, sea, it's all there in, in, in a few square kilometers. Nature is a place where they belong, that they have their roots in nature, that's where we come from and we've gone a long way away from it. Uh, so I want to bring them back to nature. This is our motto. Go back to basic, go back to nature. And then uh, if they grasp that, that would be okay. But we do more. We give them some teachings, some understandings that they can use wherever they live, wherever they go, because they have nature in their uh, neighborhood, so they can use things we teach them. We have, uh, first of all, our accommodation, something special, yurts, something that's almost not existing in Norway. And as soon as people come in here, they are blown away. Nobody seems to have a problem. It's like they've done it all their life. The first thing we learn is people, how they make the fire and how they can cook on the fire, because that's the most important thing. The moment they arrive, that's the first thing they will do, is make their own food. It's a familiar feeling. Eh? It's, it's fantastic what he has made here. And it's uh, comforting. It's comforting. It's simply, he, he can touch people. It's, it's simply fantastic. We have a cabin. In Norway we call this a hitte. 
a lot of people like it to start from that point and then just go into the wild. And this side of Hardanger Vida is, one, is known as one of the roughest parts. It's amazing what this uh, still quiet place can provide and uh, takes their breath away. Well, I'm busy most in the nature. I'm walking around, uh, making shelters, teaching them how to build a shelter. It's a shelter we only use everything from the ground, so all we found on the ground we use. We have a lot of backup from a lot of experts and specialists in their own fields. So we have a botanist. What do we have to come in contact with nature? That's what I do, you know. And that's what brings me to this fantastic place. We have a famous flint napper. I'm a flint uh, napper or a flint smith. I make a lot of uh, things, different kind of things in flint, like uh, daggers, axes, sp uh, points like arrows, spear points that they made on the stone edge. My, sp my specialty in, in flint napping is uh, blade making with indirect technique. I've been in the special forces where I've been taught about nature, being in it, surviving in it. So uh, in let's say about 35 years I got a lot of experiences and skills and somehow it seems like all that brought me here. Tunnel, that's a special place. Everybody goes in, goes out with a different feeling. You have people that are excited and then you have people do it that had to move their boundary because it's a it's dark it's mysterious you don't know what's going to happen in there well the panorama tunnel is completely different than the tunnel below this is really pushing the boundaries you have to be prepared to dive in this adventure this is something completely different and the moment you come out at the point where you see the view, where you know that one more step will take your life, that's really touching people. Well, Robert obviously is, is into the mountains and, and the walks and stuff and well, Evelyn, she's actually providing the energy for everybody because without food Nobody's going in the mountains. We serve the guests the same food we eat, so it's healthy food. And it's like I said, most things come right from nature. I like the stone age too, that I prepared today. We start the course always with prehistoric stew, serving it without telling what's in it. And just to, to make clear to them what the distance we have between uh, our ancestors and now, uh, now the, the food chain is completely manipulated by industry. And that's so, so wide from nature that we need something to come uh, in contact with it. And the stew is the first start. Personally, I believe that we as humans we should live together in a better way than we're doing right now. I believe in living together, working together, uh, whether they're blood relationship or not, we're humans. We should love each other. And I hope for people who've arrived at this place, spend a little bit of time here, that they realize that we should be able to live without luxury and just get back to basics and just, just realize how much beautiful planet we're living in. It's great to not only know other people that, but only you know, learn to know yourself much better. Yeah, just Usa, come and um, see what Usa do to you. There's a lot to learn over here and uh, I feel like I'm growing. 
growing uh, as a person? Well, I would say come here because you will, you will, uh, will certainly have some, some special experience. It's all possible to become part of the dream.